This video is sponsored by Dibley Create. More about them later in the video. Do you want to sell more books? Then you absolutely must market and promote it. Yet, where do you start and what can you do that's more tailored to your book? I've got your answer today. Since April of 2016, I've published over 1,400 videos across two channels on YouTube about writing and publishing books. I've dedicated a fair chunk of those videos to selling more books through marketing and promotion. Now, add to those sea of options, you've got other fantastic video creators like Author Level Up, Bethany Adazada, Book Launchers, Mandy Lynn, and so much more. It's no wonder some authors feel overwhelmed and unsure of how to market and promote their books effectively. The concepts shared in these videos are sometimes rather nebulous, kind of like getting generic dating advice of just be yourself. Well, what does just be myself mean? Should I smile really big the whole time? And would it be inappropriate to take a first date out for tacos? Even if you have a firm grasp on the fundamentals of book marketing, the process can be time consuming and mentally taxing. If you're anything like me, you probably look at planning a sound book marketing strategy as too much to handle at the moment, so you fly blindly into a spray and pray promotional mentality. That, of course, doesn't get very much results and can be a turnoff to potential readers. The hardest part of writing and publishing a book is marketing and promoting it, at least for a vast majority of authors who watch my YouTube channel or interact in my Discord community. I wholeheartedly agree. Some of the broader advice I offer viewers include leverage Amazon ads, craft better book descriptions, promote on social media, of course, build an email list, create search engine optimized blog posts, network with authors in your niche, appear on podcasts or in video interviews. You get the idea. I've, I've done a lot of these ones. Regardless of publishing fiction or nonfiction, these recommendations can work. But what should you do with those tips? I mean, specifically, what do you do exactly? What if you can't afford Amazon ads? Or what if you're stumped on what to say on social media without beating up your followers to buy your book every post? Enter Dibley Create's prompt library. Dibley Create is a cloud-based word processor that provides writers with a wide range of tools, including story planning, character development, world building, and writing prompts, all aimed at helping to craft the best books possible in less time. Now, I've been using this tool since its beta launch around August of 2023, and it's grown massively since. A major part of Dibley Create is its seamless integration with AI assistants. They specifically have a prompt library, making it dead simple to use AI. No need for any expertise in prompting or some overpriced course about AI prompting. You just find the prompt that best fits your needs, enter the details, then it's off to the races. Marketing and promoting your book is a never-ending job if you want to continue getting new readers and book sales. Sure, some of you might enjoy the challenge of writing a sound book marketing strategy. Quite a few of us would rather spend that time writing our next book or taking a nap, or snuggling with a cat. Let's dip into Dibley Create's prompt library and put together a deep and solid book marketing plan for my recent publication, How to Write a Book in 48 Hours. For brevity, I'm happy to share some results from this project in this video, but we'll also provide access to the entire marketing plan. Visit dalelinks.com slash prompt library to see precisely what I get. Follow along with me when you get a free seven day trial of Dibley Create's professional plan when you visit my affiliate link at dalelinks.com slash Dibley Create. In order to get into the prompt library, there's a couple of entry points. You of course can go to the main landing page where you can find the prompt library right about here. I recommend take like about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes and just browse around, look at some of these options. They're fantastic. On the left hand side, I'm going to hit add section. We're just going to start from scratch here. I always make sure that I start on a fresh line when I want to get the prompt library. So I'll hit that little button right there. And also you can access it with forward slash KIP. And then of course it will pop up here. We're looking for prompt library and then look under marketing. Now keep in mind, you can check out the content ones and business ones. Trust me, it gets very addicting after a while. It's a lot of fun. You can see I've been playing a lot with the marketing tab here. So I'll see all prompts. Now it's gonna populate all these things. Now, if you did a little bit of homework ahead of time and put some of your favorites down, you could easily take the filter 
and just narrow it down to your favorites show results so here are some of my favorites and i want to tap into an area that i really enjoy doing the most which is writing believe it or not i might not publish very many books i do publish a ton of blog posts online and so sometimes i'm at a loss for what i want to do next what seems like the next best fit so when i'm looking at okay creating this blog post maybe i could kill two birds with one stone if i have my publication and i can be able to push that to be fantastic but we don't want to be just like all about pushing my specific book we want to get away to where we can give people value give people value and that way it seems logical to go ahead and purchase my book. So I'm going to go ahead and hit blog ideas generation. Now I recommend that before you do jump into the prompt library, I want you to think about what it is that you want to accomplish. So for instance, on a very separate document here on the side of the screen, I actually have just a basic description of who I am and what I'm trying to accomplish, because then I can copy and paste it over there. And I also included the title of my book, as well as my author name, because it's gonna come up at some point or another. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a drop down here. Descriptive, expository, narrative, and persuasive. For me, I feel almost like persuasive is the best fit for what I really want to do, because honestly at the end of the day i would love to actually sell a few more books so let's try to persuade people feel free to change up that writing style if you wanted to here in the drop down you have academic conversational creative empathic humorous neutral professional and simple so i'm gonna go ahead let's just for the fun of it we're gonna make it humorous and you know what I've found so far with the humorous one, it's not so much laugh out loud type things, but it's a little bit more loose as far as the language goes. So I'm going to go ahead, grab this little paragraph I shared with you before, and we're just going to post it right on in here. Once it's all set, I'm going to hit the up button right here, which will go ahead and push the input and we're going to watch it get to work. This is kind of cool. And that was real time. Now I can either try again. So if I'm not happy with this, I can always just toss it out and do it again. But for me, it looks pretty cool so far. So I'm just going to hit insert and it's populated in here and I can actually see some great ideas. So here's one idea they have for me, the quirky world of Dale L. Roberts, unleashing your inner writing superhero. I actually kind of like that. That's not bad. Content. Introduce Dale L. Roberts, the prolific nonfiction author with a knack for writing books faster than a speeding bullet. I don't know I'm that fast. Uh, I know many people are faster than me, but okay. Um, I'd probably dial that back just a little bit, but I appreciate the, the, you know, the, the hustle there on this one. AI was on top of it. Highlight the key takeaways from his latest publication, emphasizing the simplicity and effect effectiveness of his writing approach. Cool. Uh, discuss the importance of setting realistic timelines and how Dale's methods can help writers overcome procrastination and achieve their writing goals. So you see, there's a lot involved here. So now what we can do is media. Oh, this is cool. So what it's doing is it's recommending images and graphics to really get it to where it's not just a giant wall of text. I've found in a lot of instances, at least myself personally, as a reader, I like to kind of see the pictures because it really breaks up a lot of that text and gets it to where I can understand some other more complex subjects a little bit easier. Not to say that every you know visual image is going to be something that's going to give you the right information every single time, but this is cool. Include an eye-catching infographic showcasing Dale's writing process from idea generation to publication. Embed a video interview with Dale where he shares his personal writing tips and experiences, adding a touch of humor and charm to the blog post. SEO keywords. This is really cool. We could go through and possibly test these and see what type of merit this has, but I've found in a lot of instances, these are some of the uh, keywords I've used previously on some posts that I've had. What I would typically do is I would grab all of these keywords and try to organically weave them in there, but I'm gonna have one focus keyword out of that for my blog post. So 10 out of 10, 
on the blog idea generation, this is fantastic. I could probably run this through five, six times. Daily email subject lines. I've really preached a lot about the importance of building an email list as an author. I practice what I preach. I am very, very, very much a big proponent of having an email list. One of the last things I really want to be doing is spending an inordinate amount of time racking my brains, thinking about creating the best subject line that's going to bring my subscribers into my email newsletter, because I don't want them to just subscribe. I want them to be engaged and active and getting value from the relationship that we have. Persuasive. I'm having fun with humorous. Let's just give that a shot again. Okay, so the description, I'm just gonna drop that there again. Describe the content and the emails of its purpose. I'm focused on promoting my latest book, how to write a book in 48 hours. I might wanna add, my name is Dale L. Roberts. Again, I'm just gonna go ahead and toss in here the name of my book. I'm gonna do this real time again. You can see how fast this is going. It's ready to rock and roll and it even has Look at this, a couple of email subject lines per day throughout a weekday. So it looks like it gives you the weekend off. And I mean, let's just face it, there's a lot of email subject lines. So if you were wanting to go seven days straight, I'm sure there's a few of them in here that are really good. Here it says Monday, unleash your inner author, write a book in just 48 hours. Ooh, time to channel your inner speed writer, conquer the 48, 48 hour book challenge. From zero to published hero, master the art of writing in 48 hours. <laughs> I want to make that the title of my book. That's actually pretty freaking cool. Unlock your writing superpowers, become a published author in just two days. Writing on steroids, how to craft a book in just 48 hours, fast track your writing dreams, write a book in the blink of an eye. The 48 hour writing marathon, transform your ideas into a published book. Ready, set, write, join the 48 hour book writing revolution. Mission accomplished, celebrate your 48 hour book writing triumph. From blank page to bestseller, your 48 hour book writing adventure ends here. Lead magnet ideas. Let's just say, for instance, you're wanting to build your email newsletter. Sometimes it's a good idea to have a little bit of a bribe, if you will, what's called a lead magnet, or some people call it a reader magnet. Something is going to entice your potential reader to come into your universe, your universe in the email list. Getting a good, solid lead magnet can make all of the difference when it comes to actually converting readers to email subscribers. Rather than saying, hey, would you like to get some notifications about discounts and just stay in touch with me? Join my email newsletter. Folks will definitely still subscribe, especially if you're a great author, but you're gonna get even more if you give them a reason. And the lead magnet's gonna help out. But I think sometimes there are some authors that just bang their heads against the wall wondering what is that going to be? So let's go for persuasive again. Let's go for, I don't know, conversational. Let's be chill about it. Again, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna even time lapse and I'm saying this purposely so that way I don't speed over top of myself. All right, looks great. We're just gonna hit, hit insert. I could have rejected it if I want to, but I'm sure it's gonna be pretty good. Lead magnet idea number one, the quick start guide to writing a book in 48 hours. That's actually genius. I could literally see something like a Canva one sheet that I just go into Canva, create a one sheet with one of their templates, get it all branded with my colors and we're probably ready to rock and roll. Let's see what they say. Discover the secrets to writing a book in just 48 hours with this exclusive guide. Learn the step-by-step -step process from brainstorming ideas to organizing your thoughts and finally putting pen to paper. This guide will help aspiring authors kickstart their writing journey and achieve their dream of becoming published authors. Lead magnet number two, unlock your writing potential, five proven strategies. Unleash your writing potential with these five proven strategies strategies that will help you overcome writer's block, boost your creativity, and enhance your productivity. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced writer, these techniques will take your writing skills to the next level and help you complete your book in record time. Let's just look at the titles here and we'll kind of fill in the blanks here. Again, you guys can come back later and look at all this. And I even have some other ones when I was doing examples and just trying to go through this. So you get to actually see everything raw. Lead Magnet Idea 3, the ultimate editing checklist for authors. 
Yes, yes, yes. Checklists are awesome. In fact, if you're not subscribed to my email newsletter, you can actually get the bestseller book launch checklist when you subscribe at dailylinks.com slash checklist. Lead magnet number four, insider tips from bestselling authors, secret to writing success. Idea number five, the publishing roadmap, a step-by-step -step guide to getting your book out into the world. That almost sounds like a freaking book. That's actually a really good title. This video was only the fourth video in an eight-part series. Subscribe and turn your notifications to all so you you don't miss any of the future videos. Find out more about writing and publishing books when you catch the rest of the video series here. I'll see you there.